After joining her father in a VIP tent during Taylor Swift's era's tour in Argentina on Saturday night at Estadio River Plate, Travis Kelsey enthralled the spectators. When fans learned that the Kansas City tight end was there with Scott Swift, they let out yells during the performance. Earlier in the evening, the three of them had enjoyed a nice supper at the Four Seasons restaurant. The 34-year-old Kelsey took hundreds of bracelets from Swift's devoted followers, but he made it clear he was only there for the performance by refusing to pose for pictures or sign a sweatshirt for a fan. The bad blood hitmaker glanced at her new beau while on stage, watching him laugh and joke with her father, a businessman in the roomy VIP box. During the performance, he was also seen munching on a snack. She was singing Willow, a song from her Evermore period, addressing Kelsey directly, mouthing the words, That's my man! He once created a heart with his hands in response to the entire stadium shouting his name. Even though Scott is an avid Philadelphia Eagles supporter, he was seen with a Kansas City Chiefs lanyard around his neck. Scott had only recently become acquainted with the sportsman. She seemed to work particularly hard for her lover, who performed in front of the crowd while singing along to all of her greatest hits. In addition, she sang... Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me, altering the song's words specifically for Kelsey. Upon witnessing the multi-Grammy winner perform her classics from her reputation era, Kelsey was genuinely astonished and was observed using the word wow. She seemed to be singing straight at Kelsey as she mouthed the lyrics, You must like me for me, during her performance of her 2017 hit song, Delicate. As she sang... Is it cool that I said all that? Is it chill that you're in my head? She also gestured to the football player. During the song, her father recorded her and then turned to carry on a conversation with Kelsey before going to her father's phone to record him chanting Taylor Taylor in support of the celebrity when she disclosed her Grammy nominations. Kelsey joined in on the chants of Ole, Ole, Ole. While Kelsey was watching and paying careful attention, she also performed Endgame as her surprise song throughout her performance. She seemed to be singing, I want to be your Endgame, as she sang the words. As Swift sang, I want to be your first string. I want to be your A-team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to be your Endgame, Endgame. Kelsey applauded and looked arrogant. Swift's ex-husband, Harry Styles, is well known for his style, and Kelsey appeared to like it as he danced and sang along, while pretending to play the piano. Swift gestured at the football player as she sang, You know I love the players, to the pleasure of the screaming spectators. The tight end smiled and applauded as well as Swift revealed to her adoring audience at the stadium that her most recent album, Midnight's, had received six Grammy nominations. He also engaged in heated conversation with Swift's opening act, Sabrina Carpenter, during intermissions between acts, while the nonsense singer took wristbands from admirers. Minutes after Swift took the stage, clad in a cloud of pink and purple butterfly wings, the football player entered the show wearing yet another stylish jersey. During The Archer, a movement with the Argentinian Swifties, the blonde stunner entertained the crowd by posing with her father and We Will Stay posters. After leaving Kansas City at 11 p.m. on Thursday and stopping for fuel in Panama City for an hour, the NFL player took out for Buenos Aires on Friday afternoon where he met up with Swift. He took off on the late-night journey, arriving at 2 p.m. local time and landing in a Gulfstream INV. After learning that Kelsey had travelled out to see Swift play, fans took to social media to share their enthusiasm. On X, the former Twitter, a social media user expressed admiration for Kelsey's nice gesture. They tweeted, I think it's cute he flew to see her. Another supporter gave their blessing, stating that Kelsey was acting supportive as he should be. Swift and Kelsey are the greatest in their respective fields, and one tweet praised them for being a power couple we haven't seen in recent years. 
The social media user stated, We love a relationship where each partner supports the other and lets them shine. They went on, He's the best in his field and she's the best in hers. A power pair that we haven't seen in a long time. That's why she's singing Lover, as Swifty had emphasized, her lover among the crowd. Another commenter on social media said that the new pair is among the greatest of all time and that Kelsey was so supportive. Anyone would want to witness the musical superstar perform live, according to a different tweet. Common sense dictates that anyone would want to go. This is Taylor after all. Following weeks of dating rumors and the NFL star's abortive attempt to give her his cell phone number in July, Taylor and Travis began dating in late September. They announced their relationship to the world during his football game on September 24th and have since been photographed together on a number of occasions. The singer is anticipated to stay for all of Swift's performances in Argentina this weekend, having already seen four of his games. Just hours after the football player's flight to visit her, she took her father to dinner on Friday night in Buenos Aires. The two enjoyed a supper together at the restaurant with Scott, 71, following the star's cancellation of her second performance due to inclement weather. The sources claim that the couple dined at the Four Seasons upscale restaurant where they had a $1.75 steak. They also claimed to be at ease and content to converse with the waitstaff for several hours. A few customers cheered as the trio quickly fled through an emergency door, with at least six kitchen staff members forming a guard of honour around the pair. Swift was astounded by the manner the athlete courted her last month, acting like a gentleman. While Taylor was trying to hold it together, an insider close to Lively's celebrity friend claimed that it was clear to everyone around her that she was already falling hard for her new partner. Right now, Travis is everything to Taylor and her family. She is completely amazed. They discussed how she's attempting to maintain her composure while clearly falling in love with him and that he feels the same way. She wasn't the standard, hey, you're hot, let's go out type of person when he courted her. She feels like the luckiest person alive at the moment because he genuinely courted her. It's not a coincidence that she only needed to venture outside of Hollywood. The singer's parents, according to the insider, were very harsh critics of her romantic relationships, but even they are said to be fully supportive of the current duo. They clarified, all they ever want is for Taylor to be with someone who loves her for who she is and who keeps her safe. Travis is a gentleman and everyone feels like she has finally found her match, even though it may be too soon to say. The insider claims that his family adores her and that all of her pals are legit so pleased for her.